Hello and welcome back to section 3 of the UX course for developers. I'm your guide Chris Becker and in this section we will be growing our UX understanding by learning about information architecture. In the last section we improved our human-centered design skills including building empathy maps, improving our observation skills, learning some things about problem definition, building and creating some screen flows, and creating some intervention planning. In this section, we will improve our UX skills and enhance our web design processes. In this video, we will enhance some site structure, build a site map, review some page templates, learn some things about SERPs, review content and UI patterns, define some page clustering, relate information architecture's role, create some site maps, review our system, devise what to simplify and to unclutter that will lead to clarity. So let's work on how we understand and relate structure organization to the site. When we refer to organization and structure of a website, these skills are associated with the information architecture aspect of the UX spectrum. Information architecture is the art and science of organizing and structuring websites. It could also be used in software to support usability and findability, and it typically involves a model or concept of information, which is used and applied to activities that require explicit details of complex information systems. So let's learn about how to improve our, our site structure and sitemap. Placing the user at the center can be the hardest conceptual shift that UX requires, but also recognizing that your user also needs clarity and organization can lead to building and eliminating a cluttered and necessary content experience. UX embodies information architecture, and we need to balance the need for clarity and structure with our user's needs. Like a user knows the difference between a novel and a comic book, a sitemap allows us to understand and relate volume of content and structure. So let's get going.